What is up YouTube? It's your boy Johnny A. I'm back at you guys with another video today. Hope you guys have been doing good. Today, I'm going to go over an email that I did receive from Acorns. Uh, going over a bear market, heading maybe heading into a bullish market. Uh, we will see in the, in the next couple of months. Um, I just want to go over this email because I thought it would be helpful for you guys that are watching the video. Um, that maybe are panicking, that things are still bearish. Um, but I want to go over this real quick because I do believe that we will head up in the uptrend uh, in the next maybe couple of months. It might take a while, but every downturn normally ends up in an uptrend eventually. So um, this is an email that I received earlier from Acorns. In the markets, stocks rallied last week as earning earning seasons when companies reported their financial results from the last quarter got off to a strong start so we can't predict if this will pull us out of the downturn just yet but look at a historical bear market which we are currently in could signal what, what may be ahead and help us stay calm and focus on our long game so bears and bulls we're several months into the bear market defined as a prolonged period of, de of decline but if history has taught us anything, it's that market downturns eventually end up in upturns. After previous declines of 20% or more, the market has historically rallied by an average of 245%. So here are the bear market declines that have led to bull market gains. Back in 1956, we had a decline of 22%, 61, and onward, you guys can see the chart here real quick. You see 1987, it was minus 34% and then went up as high as 842%, which is pretty insane. And you can see 2020 at minus 34 up and then going up 114%. So the takeaway here is past performance doesn't guarantee future results, but history markets makes, uh, excuse me, but history makes a good cause that investors who are able to stick with it by buying the dips and staying invested may have an opportunity for growth ahead of, ahead of them. So stay the course. Since 1950, the average bear market has ended after 14 months. The ensuing bull market has hit all new all-time highs 26 months after that. That means on average, historic market lows have turned into market highs in just over three years. But even three years is a rel rel relatively short time frame for long-term investors. As legendary investor Charlie Munger once said, the first rule of compounding never interrupt it unnecessarily. If you take advantage of today's stock discounts, you may have an opportunity to better grow your money over the next decade or longer. So obviously, what's the best way to invest right now that we are in the bear market? You guys see here in the chart, every bear market has gone into a bull, a bull market eventually and it's gone up significantly a lot so right now in my opinion not financial advice as i've been saying in every past video of mine dollar cost averaging is the best way to invest five dollars a day ten dollars a day i don't even care if it's six seven dollars a day whatever you can put money into the stock market even in the crypto market dollar cost averaging is the best way to invest in my opinion during this bear market long term which you guys see here on the chart it will eventually pay off so right now we got to think long term as always the long game always pays off patience patience be patient um, stick with your investment goals uh, don't just take everything that everything out just because the market is tanking take advantage advantage of pullbacks if you like picking individual stocks or individual cryptos take advantage of the pullbacks that we are getting right now so uh will we will we pull back even more we could see that so have some money set aside and until we eventually do pull back you know and that way you'll see the benefits in the long term so i wanted to share this with you guys today i hope you guys at least found it a bit helpful um and you guys could probably use it in your long-term investment game so uh, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button to follow me on my investment journey. Uh, like the video, leave me your comments below if you found the video helpful. 
Follow me on Instagram and on TikTok as well. You guys can check out the links in the description. If you want to sign up for Acorns or SoFi, which is another great uh, brokerage to use, Robinhood, Coinbase for crypto, check out all my links in the description below. So yeah, guys, uh, that's all I have for you guys today. I will keep you guys up to date throughout the whole week. And I will see you guys on the next video. Peace.